process. But they don't care. They don't care. No, they, they still they just you. don't follow the rules. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the precise gentleman you are. You have brought us something brand new. This is a six piece bread mm. to bloom coral bells collection, yes. which for $32.42, first of all, they they seem very dainty. Like it almost seems like a beautiful, like a little outfit that you've put together Isn't here. It? Yeah. What exactly great. is a coral bell? Coral bell or euchre is a plant that's normally sold in greenhouses and in garden centers for shade. Okay. Because of the color of the foliage gives some good color to the shade. So what we've done is we work with these breeders in Oregon, mm -hmm. Terra Nova, they're fantastic breeders, and they have got bred these new varieties that just don't have the pretty leaves, yeah. but these are bred to bloom, baby. Look at all these gorgeous flowers I mean, in the shade. You know, it's funny, the way that I looked at the lavender, it's kind of like you have, almost to me, the, how delicate each little flower is. Uh -huh. It's almost like the miniature version of like a cherry blossom that I would expect oh. on a tree, but now vertical. That's how it looks to me. Well, these, they look like it, don't they, this variety. Yes. And, and, so, and this is Paris. We can go through the varieties. You're getting six of them in this collection. Okay. At a great value. Please use your little tablet at home, your Amazon tablet, and check out the prices because it'll blow you away. Look at that. For a coral bell, as again, it's normally sold for the foliage because the foliage is so pretty. Yeah. And it's year round foliage. Doesn't die back in the winter unless you live way up north. Um, these get these. 14, 12 inch flower spikes. Wow. Dark pink flowers. That's just Paris. Now, the next one, we're gonna go to Rio. And look at the leaves on Rio is like a chameleon. The leaves start up amber, and then they get a little peachy as the season goes Ooh. on. And then by the end in autumn, there, there are yellow leaves in there. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's like the color they I also hope bloom. to see. Yeah. yeah. And, then and they also bloom. You get the flowers. Now look at the spikes on those, Courtney. They're red. Stems, but then they have the white flowers. The white flowers for the really pop. Oh, how yeah. interesting! Mm -hmm. See, to me, then that reminds me of the Japanese cherry blossoms. There you, you go. Know, I'm getting all yeah. technical here. All right, like, we're talking about talking this? about China. Yeah. Let's go to Shanghai. Well, well, well. <laughs> we're talking. Yeah, we're talking about some exotic colors. Look at these purple, silvery, dark leaves. Gorgeous, oh, wow. gorgeous leaves in the wow. shade, but these are bred to bloom. They're all going to flower for you, and they're rebloomers. They bloom and they bloom and they bloom. So when you, okay, so you see these stills, and you see that you always have foliage throughout the year because I am somebody that I don't want to cut all my mm -hmm. flowers back. I don't want to cut all my plants. You don't back. cut I'm this back. I, that's that to me is phenomenal. But then Look having that. this, yeah, around a shaded tree like a big oak or a big maple where nothing grows under there, you get this every year it comes back they get bigger and bigger and I mean these varieties top notch top of the line well how big do they get because around that tree they look yeah. pretty sizable and then are there two in here you know, well first season I'm going to show you exactly okay. how to do this do you mind if I pot one up yeah and we'll just, then I'll, I'll go through the, the, the growth stages here so what there, variety is this that's the one with the um, purple leaves this, is that yeah, the this Shanghai? Is Shanghai and they're all marked with little tags to tell you so you don't have to do the guessing game. I know it seems tacky, but sometimes I leave them in the ground just so I'm reminded. I, no. Just for the first I, I season I do that what too. they are. Because so, if it's new and somebody asks about it, you, yeah, you want to know what to tell you forget, them. You know, and, and do I cut it back or this or that? Sometimes there's good information. So look at the roots. If I got something in the mail like this nice root ball, I'd probably just take this and I'd, I'd rip these off a little bit. Don't worry, you're not hurting the plant at all. Where you rip and tear, it, it, it creates new it's energy sprouts. to grow. Out. Yes. So then you just put it in your hole, right? Now, water that in. Use your Hawaiian flower magic if you have it. When you water it in, you cannot use this too much. It makes 500 quarts, so use it like every other week. Awesome. The plants will love it. And you know, when you just planted that, the, the great thing about this is that looks like a full plant that's ready to go, and that's what was delivered was to your box. door. This is what you're going to get the first season. Very pretty. Okay. The second season, you, they'll get two foot wide. One, this plant here will go two foot wide like this. So you need to space out accordingly yes. so it has room to yes. spread and out. And if you saw that picture with the tree, which we can go back to too, yeah, you'll see to. because that you do, you put them around a tree or a walkway, wherever that shady spot, yeah. you got fantastic color from the foliage, but fantastic flowers. That's the one we were just talking about, right? And so that would be, is that at the beginning that, of the season? That's a few season? sets there, okay? Okay, and that's is that at the beginning of the season or no, is that no, towards that, the that, end? No, that's probably in the summer. Okay. Yeah, that's All summertime. Right. 
And then with the individual flower stems, you still don't have to cut those back. Those kind of just go away on their own. Yeah, now the flowers at the end of the season, if you want just for tidiness, you could cut down, but you don't cut the leaves back on these. Okay. They're kind of like a rose. In the springtime, you can go out, if you have some, some foliage that's dried up, yep. you can snip those off, but you never cut the crown or cut this down to the ground like some Got plants. It. So you just leave it. Well, you're getting six different pieces. You're getting three different varieties, mm -hmm. two of each, $32.42. Nice these are brand new today and you know these are native to North America so I do feel yeah. like that when you see the varieties that you're getting with the colors that too is really exciting because you're not going to find this at the gardening center down the street from your not, house. Not these varieties I know you won't but if you do find them they're very pricey this is only the second collection we've ever bought to QVC because really? of that. I'm not going to bring something that's outrageously priced so we work with the breeders in Terranova we get you a great deal great varieties and this is the largest largest collection we've ever had of them. So you're going to get up, you know, six plants, two foot each. That's 12 foot border. That's so crazy. So you can think like maybe I need two sets well, for each side. And you know what? If you think about, okay, a 12 foot border, that is for one six piece set. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you had a cue card with your easy pay, you could bring it home under $20 if you picked up that second set because the fact that you could furnish your garden, and I say furnish your garden for a reason, $60. I have always felt before I started working here at QVC, whenever I would go to a gardening center, I felt like I got nothing oh. for that price. No, usually you buy a flat of annuals and you got to go do it every year. Yeah. This is something you plant these in that nice shady spot. They can take some sun. Half a day of sun is fine, just not full sun. Okay. So you plant these, down, but they get better every year. And every year you're like, wow, you're just so impressed. I did that, <laughs> you know? And it I comes back to furnishing. I love that. Furnishing. Because yeah. you are, you're furnishing your outdoors. Well, and space. then the other thing about it is, is like, especially if you have that shady spot on the side of your house, I mean, we have it on, on ours as well. It you don't notice the shade anymore because you have beautiful color, variations of color. Mm -hmm. color that is now thriving that you got to see first today, brand new, $32.42. Remember, if you want to furnish that border of the garden, pick up a second set. These are our only quantities of the season, and once we sell out of them, They're who gone. knows if we'll be able to get them back next year because they are pretty pressy. Thanks M53090, thank you. Coming up, the honeymoon.